Hey, how's it going? Um, just gonna talk briefly about the Xbox developer mode situation. It, it fucking sucks. And I recently checked my email and I got one of those emails and I, I just want to talk about it. So earlier today on Twitter, I looked on a thread and I saw that Modern Vintage Gamer got tagged by this guy named Sysop79. And he claims that I'm about to lose access to my dev mode on my Series X because I don't have a business license. And um, that kind of, you know, alerted the whole community, including me. And I checked my email and I'm pretty sure um, everyone else got one too. So on that email, well, I'll, I'll just throw up the email right now. So it mainly says, Dear Microsoft Store Developer, you are receiving this email no notice because you have an active developer mode account, uh, Microsoft Partner Center, and may make products available through the Microsoft Store, Windows and Xbox, or Microsoft Edge, yada yada. I, uh, They said that they updated the Partner Center account verification requirements. Microsoft will be uh, requiring that all company accounts in Partner Center submit either their business DUNS ID or one of their business verification documents. And I don't know what a DUNS is, so fuck it. Let's look that up. The Dunn and Broad Street DUNS number is a unique nine digit in the uh, identifier for businesses that is associated with a business live business identity which may help evaluate potential partner seek new cont contracts apply for loans and such more Okay, so let's begin with what is the purpose of a DUNS number and what it is. A DUNS number is a nine digit identifier for your business and it is created by the credit bureau Dun and Bradstreet. Business credit bureaus are different from personal credit bureaus. So in business credit, there are more than three credit bureaus, but the three major credit bureaus are Dun and Bradstreet, Experian Commercial, and Equifax Small Business. There are also more bureaus out there, but we'll talk about that in a separate video soon. Dun and Bradstreet uses a nine digit number that they assign to you to be able to keep records of your business's credit file. And that allows other entities to also access your file, such as lenders or government agencies. So yeah, that's what a Dun's number is. I, I'm not gonna get that know what he is. I don't think anybody is going to register their fucking actual independent self as a business just to emulate some fucking games. You got to have some fucking, I don't know, a lot of money or some big fucking brains to pull that off. And clearly I, I, I'm just fucking not ambitious enough to even pull that off. So right here, required action. Beginning February 17th, 2024, New company accounts will be required to enter their business information during account creation, which is really fucked up. I, I, I'm sorry to anybody that got one recently. I know my cousin did. That's, that sh sucks. Existing partners with company accounts will have until early 2025 to update their accounts with the required business verification information. Failure to provide the information by the deadline may result in your account being blocked or content removal, which is fucked up. I can't believe they're actually backpedaling and all this shit. So another shit they want you to do is, uh, I guess they want you to log in to a partner center account, your partner center account. I, I while making the whole developer mode account I don't remember doing that partner center account but hopefully it will ring a bell or if anybody does know <laughs> or have more information about that yeah please clarify that so uh, they want you to log into your partner center account and update the below under the and update the below <laughs> under contract details and properties for each product available through the Microsoft Store. You would need to update your email, physical address, and phone number. 
So they also put a reminder that the uh, Microsoft Application Developer Agreement Acceptance Requirement. As per our email sent to um, to everybody on October 30th, uh, 2023, last year, Microsoft updated its Application Developer Agreement on October 30th, 2023, effective November 30th, 2023, which I didn't know we fucking actually received that email because I didn't even know we got this email to begin with unless someone in Twitter rang the fucking alarm screaming holy hell so uh, they updated their application developer me- agreement and I, I guess this is it right here which is bullshit I, I feel like companies <laughs> I hate that they have to update their fucking uh, agreements or policies just to fucking amend some loophole or whatever. Like, it's dumb. I fucking hate that. Your mistake, you should just write it out. Uh, so apparently they sent everybody this agreement and they want you to log in and agree to this shit. Honestly, I could fucking take an hour to go through this whole fucking document, but I'm just going to go through the first page. At developer agreement, thank you for your interest in building an app for Microsoft, or I mean for Windows, this app developer agreement, Microsoft Store, this agreement includes a exhibit, 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 <laughs> fuck I can't even say that, includes the exhibit of all documents expressly referenced herein and described in the relationship between you and the uh, identity of the individual who acts as partner center, me. The Microsoft Corporation, Microsoft, we, us, or are, are governed uh, your use and governs your use of partner center and of Microsoft Store to make apps or in-app products available to customers. By agreeing to these terms you represent and warrant to us that you have the authority to accept this agreement and you also agree to the bounds by its terms and its earlier of the effective date first written above or to the date of which you have first accepted these terms throughout this agreement, we refer to you as a developer. But we, but we understand that in some cases you may be a publisher submitting apps or in-app products that you did not develop. Terms and conditions uh, and disagreement, the following uh, definition applies. Account fees, affiliates. Yeah, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go through this whole um, email or what is it? Agreement? Yeah, I'm not gonna go through it. Fuck that. So yeah, so another uh, required action is that they want you to log into your partner center account, access the agreement, review it, accept an updated developer agreement for the program in which you're enrolled in. You must accept the agreement by February 28th of 2024, which is next month, I believe. Or you will be blocked by publishing new apps or making any edits to the existing. Yeah, that, that's that's rough. Yeah, rest in peace. So, I kind of had a feeling this was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to happen right now because fuck, I... That shit was in the back of my head. None of us thought this shit was going to happen. I, I guess a lot of people did. But, like, I, I thought it was going to happen more down the line, not not right now. Like, that's kind of whack. So right now they're giving me a time limit to play all my retro games. Son of a bitch. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just go over some tweets and let's see if we could come to a <laughs> combined rational thought about this over here our modern vintage gamer on his account he uh put out a re- uh, retweet about this i got in a flood of dms about this some clarifications will be welcomed here at xbox 
is this change referring to the company developer accounts and not an individual individual developer account if it's across the board then this is surely to end the emulation via WMP app and developments which yeah it's true that sucks we just went over that email this is the original post from SciSop79 I'm about to lose access to my dev mode on my Series X I don't have a business license and yeah let's just go over some tweets a uh, user rep says statement policy is clear it says all company accounts and then modern vintage gamer uh replied with then why did the individual accounts get the emails which is a fair point i am an indivi individual developer and did not receive an email different locales and then people are started chiming in saying i got one i don't know if this person is being truthful or not who knows? This guy uh, put his opinion. Can't you just take the console offline so it never receives the ping to receive access? And to which another guy replied, Problem is dev mode requires online access. Plus, if you do leave your Xbox on offline for a certain amount of time, it will require re-authentication online. Some features or games will be disabled. Which, yeah, sucks. That's definitely right. Some guy replied with, Playing dangerous game here. If you take that away, surely the scene will heat up as people look for exploits on full-on jailbreaks. Yep, that's true. I would actually. Another user said, If this happens, then the Series X will be jailbroken in two months. That's my bet. And yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. Another guy posted, God, I hope this is a miscommunication because I got a Series S to use as my emulation device. Series X for the rest. Same here, man. Yeah, some people are posting, hopefully this won't affect personal accounts, but I got the same email. I am not using a company account, so if this change affects personal accounts, it's massive, massive L by Microsoft and will be probably be a target on the console back for full on hacking. People are saying $19 down the drain. Damn, I think I paid 20. I don't know, same shit. And the dream is over. Yeah, pretty much sums it up. Ugh. I just want to take a minute to talk about that because fuck, I spent hours just doing all that process, paying the 20 bucks. I did get my money worth. I took like what two years just playing. I was pretty awesome. Yep. That was the only reason why I got a Series X and there's no point to have a Series X other than playing games on Game Pass and I don't see why you wanna do that when you could get a PC, get a better quality experience. But other than that, I hope they backpedal on this backpedal that they did. Cause that's fucking pathetic. Yeah, I got nothing. Alright, later guys.